So to be honest, they built houses within the circle and I'm not okay with that, but who am I to speak? Um, yeah, so you see the mound, the sacred site, it's all around here, there's sheep in it and there's houses and shops, spiritual shops. Bon appétit Nyam 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 I'm very very kind, I'm not going to move anybody <laughs> Hello No You don't want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? No? <laughs> You're so cute Can you say hi? <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. Oops. I stepped in too. Ooh. Hi guys. <laughs> you wanna come? You wanna come? I'm very kind. Baby, meh, meh, meh. Okay. Stone circle, sheep. You got the sheep, stone and bird combo. <laughs> Can I touch the stones? Please? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> light language, sheep light language. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hi. <laughs> um, welcome to Avebury. This is a stone circle that is really ancient and it's a series of megaliths 
arranged in different shapes and circles. It's the largest in Britain and I wanted to go here, to come here, to experience here. So that's what I did and that's what I'm doing. And I still have a little bit of leeway so I could come back tomorrow. I've been following the circles from a slow distance and then slowly and slowly I'll go into the center of the circle. The energy is very strong, uh, extremely strong actually. My third eye is, it's in, it's in pain, babe. Like it, it's, it's, I'm suffering. Um, but I know that there's something going on and that's why I'm being prompted to record. That's one of the ways that I keep memories and that I can go deeper. So it's not really taking away from the experience. It's actually opening a window to go deeper into the experience. So I first sat down with the trees on, on the sides of the circle and there were beech trees, there were four of them. It was absolutely wonderful to feel the space and make my offerings and offer my presence, my energy, my possibility of sharing messages to you here. But I'm also having my personal experience and I'm Celtic. I carry that in my blood and I've been highly channeling my higher self and following their guidance and going on my own personal path and I feel ready to share that with you. So as I sat down I first I had to manage the emotional response of seeing those houses in the middle of the circle. I don't know how long they've been here but it doesn't feel right like that's not correct you wouldn't open a tent in a mosque or in a church and to me that feels like desecration like this is a sacred space there shouldn't be houses here so I felt that pain and I still feel it and it really makes me angry and I don't know how to deal with it the more I hug those stones the more I, I touch those stones the more I feel the space the more I feel like I'm home <laughs> it's very strange to experience but like they feel like parents those stones they feel like ancestors and it's so nice <laughs> I knew this whole trip I was gonna cry. <laughs> um, I just knew that there was a homecoming by coming back here, both as in this body coming back to England, but also as in carrying my blood and my DNA back to the British Isles, where I'm, I'm from, where my DNA is from, where my ancestors are from. And so touching those stones is, is a homecoming and it's, it's like family, I feel. Like it's a family gathering and that's why I keep adding myself in between those stones. Like make me a stone too and make me a standing stone in the middle of them. They feel so good and hugging them, I don't want to move, I don't want to remove myself from that embrace and it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's really a feeling that I've never felt before. <laughs> okay, stop crying. <laughs> It's just, it's, it, uh, I think it's tears of joy, you know. It's such a beautiful feeling and I don't get to experience that with my own parents and I don't have my grandparents anymore. <laughs> I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. And I hope you get to experience that homecoming. That embrace.
It's the only place with a shadow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Day two, <laughs> day two, day two, day two, it's 8 a.m. So just like yesterday, coming very early so that the sun doesn't stop me too early as well. I plan on spending four hours here going to Silbury Hill, which is a pyramid. And I have to cross through a series of fields and then I'll go to West Canada Long Barrow, which is a burial mound. Um, yeah, I'm excited, but also just hanging out with those stones. Let's go get the transmission from the devil's, the devil's seat or Merlin's seat. <laughs>
We made it. I don't know if climbing it is going to be on the menu. A pyramid in Britain. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> um, I had a beautiful winter solstice meditation with Eva Marcus a year and a half ago. And it was all about retrieving the memories that is in the buried body of a past life and retrieving the wisdom and the knowledge and it was just really wonderful to to do that and to see the way she gave us a visualization and, and an access to those lives and mine was here <laughs> it was here and i'm here now <laughs> in this body Let's see what happens and how much I want to share as well because I don't want to... Yeah, I just want to respect everyone included. Quiet barbed wire. How did I get to you? How? There's like a whole river and stuff. Let's go! Cool. <laughs> I shouldn't film this. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Yay!
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. Not working. Not a good crowd. Not a good herd. <laughs> All right.